Okay, so they go around, and then what? He puts it in, turns it, they go all over the place, but they went there instead. And then he presses the lever. Okay, so I'm gonna, first of all, okay. I'm gonna wanna make them let, narrow down in that order first. Oh, I can move them individually now. That must be what I unlocked by putting in the key. That's new. Four tips medallion, that might be the thing finally. Okay. I also might need to put in that other combination. But at long last I have this thing, which means I can probably switch the ladder and never never deal with the animation again. Because this this staircase is in my way. Here we go. An incomplete pulley mechanism. I wonder what it controls. Oh, we're not done yet? Shit. Oh. I think this might be what finishes the level entirely. I think I have to do this, and then the puzzle- then the entire floor will be over, and then I go to, like, the next level, essentially. Huh. <coughs> so we likely need to go all the way back around. There we go. So watch this animation for the 17th time. But I have another combination of planet things now that I need to put in. So first we have a crescent. Ah. I'm going back to the first ones, aren't I? Yep. So small crescent, opposite, and then opposing colors. I'll see if I can remember it all in one go this time. So I wasn't wrong. I was just wrong in the wrong... I was right in the wrong order, kind of. Which is also known as being wrong. But like, but uh, wrong in a way that'll be f correct later, you know? Probably did that wrong too. If only I could see it from un from here. Crescent on the right, and I think the other one is on orange on the other side. Two looks kind of like that. Oh, the two is two is slanted. I gotta wait for that weird rotating part. There it is. All right, I'm just gonna chase them again. I never played Stardew Valley, but I think this is how the fishing minigame works in that game, is that you sort of chase the icon around. Okay. Nope. I was trying to see if I could see anything below it. His animations are so unskippable. <laughs> it's their most noticeable attribute. <laughs> Go back. Over here. There we go. Oops, I went way too fast. That's where I started. There we go. Now I think I might be able to reach that thing I thought I could use before. I saw it rotate around again and then it stopped. Unless I missed something about what it gave me. I think it just gave me access to... 
up there because there seems to be like access to it from this lever this this platform oh is this the sound of me being horribly wrong it sure sounds like the sound of me being horribly wrong oh there we go I just double clicked at it and it didn't trigger but then it did trigger okay sure looks a lot like a shield iron bound wooden wheel you go somewhere ah now I need to do this again as you likely fit into the pulley system because it because that pulley system tends to have some kind of of wheel. Except I don't have a belt, so it's not going to be a very good pulley. Or will it? Oh, I think the I think it already had a. Okay. Ah. Sweet victory. The way down is clear, but, uh... I was already clicking before the pop-up came up. That looks in yeah, I was gonna say. It seems incredibly fragile. I'm an exciting action game. <laughs> Well, wherever we've landed, we're not getting back out very easily. Oh, hey, creepy cultist man, how you doing? Oh, okay. There's more of you now. Now, there's not- what- what? They can just materialize? It's okay, all this metal broke my fall. They're just vibrating? What was that? Was it real? Alright, yeah, those two planks of wood. Wow, this looks weird. Okay, um... Say goodbye to how open the last environment was, because this one looks... cramped. Let's see. Where do I even start? Hey there. What are these? Do they move? Those, de those definitely come unlocked, and then the top probably opens up or something, but not until I do something else, because it probably happens automatically. Not interactive for me. Can't help but notice that it seems to be having zero impact of any kind. Okay. Oh, it's mine now. Thank you. What do you guys do? You could thread this something through there if you wanted to. But I don't know what you do. Got this guy. He seems nice. Oh. I could take a wild guess. Really? So it has the same crank, kind of, but that one's got six spokes, this one has four spokes, and it does have a weird gear on it. 
It likely doesn't fit in that way. What does this thing do, though? Besides being complete, which is definitely what it's doing. Nope, there's the page. Hey, buddy. Got two more toys to play to play around with now. Eh, maybe I'll do that right now. Haven't accomplished anything in that chapter yet anyway. Let's play around with the two things I have so far since last time. There's our Shrine to Da Vinci. And there's the two from last time. You can tell I missed one there. Oh, I think I'm in the last chapter. I'm pretty sure I missed one in the spaceship looking thing. Not actually a spaceship, it's the weird mobile tank cannon, whatever it is. I don't think I found one there. So I think I found two thirds of them overall. Game, game seems to have six levels, if that's the pattern they're going with. Revolving Bridge, Codex Atlanticus, 1487 to 1489. I have already presented several different designs for light and strong bridges to Ludovi Ludovico Storza, call, uh, called Il Moro, but... Only after working for Cesar Borgia, also known as Il Valentino, could I realize some of my concepts. The revolving bridge is a very interesting creation. It's very easy. It's very easy operation and firmness allows for it to be used in specific locations where nav uh, navigability of the watercourse is needed. So he was coming up with the idea of having a bridge. That would change. This was his version of a drawbridge, essentially. Well, would you look at that? Yeah, so he had his own version of a drawbridge. Fitting. His idea was that it would just rotate out of the way. He probably couldn't imagine the thing maintaining its shape and structure if gravity's direction changed, so he probably wanted to make the whole thing pivot instead. Maybe. A lot of his ideas and inventions were often like, just ever so slightly different from what we ended up using for real, in many cases. There's like a raw energy to it. Flying Machine. It's manuscript B, 1487 to 1489. The sky has always fascinated men, for it is a place which is, for now, unreachable. I want to approach the sky, but do not wish to end up like Icarus. My design is light and strong and is anatomically reminiscent of a bird's wing, which is of utmost importance. The movement must be fast enough for the compressed air not to escape from under the wings. He's gonna use a compressed air? I'm not sure what the right speed is to do this to not make it to make it look like I'm not a lunatic. It always feels too slow or way too fast. Rah! Gonna ruin it. All right, let's get back to work. Well, back to futzing around. Still got this crank. And I can't even look over there. Okay. Well, this lever probably works. Okay, thanks for that. Thank you for your contribution. Can't even walk up to the store. Uh, do you go here? Okay.
I don't know if it's hooked up right now. Can't tell if it's hooked up to anything or if it'll do anything for now. A metal container which seems to actuate the mechanism above me. There's this complicated ring over here. There's these things where I don't know what it does still. They reset because I left, but that's fine because I didn't know what I was- ooh. There are these spikes. I think those were in it until I- I think I might have dropped those when I grabbed the crank. They'd fall out. I feel like I still need to figure out where I'm even allowed to go in this room a little bit. But so far I have no evidence that like doing anything in here affects anything. It's just sort of... Look at this thing twist a bit. Can I go over there? No, not here. You know, there's nothing in the back of the room? Can you tell me how you're supposed to be set up? So I'm stuck looking at this wall that doesn't make sense. If I go into glowy vision... Ah! It tells me what's happening behind the wall. And now it all makes more sense. Okay. So I'm changing which one moves. I'm gonna assume that I want to line them up. So let's make you go higher. I have to alternate between making them go higher and lower, basically. Oh. There's what there's holes up top though too. It probably has to line up with this bar. Okay. I was trying to make them line up in the middle of the screen, but that's wrong. Make you go higher. Lower. Higher. Lower. Higher. Lower. Ah. Higher. Lower. Higher. Kind of... I might have trapped myself a little bit. I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, this is going to... I think this will even out. Okay. So now the door opens behind the scenes. When it... Yeah, whenever you feel stuck, use the power. And then you'll find the secret thing that, was, that you didn't know how to go through. I'm sorry, how far did I fall? <laughs> I was apparently up there, on, like way above there, and I fell down through all this machinery without dying. Sure, I'll pretend to believe you. <laughs> At this point, there's not even a city out there. It's just gray. Is there a city in this other direction? No, none of these directions have a city behind them. They're just... It's just gray outside now. No, D they did the water puzzle, didn't they? Ah, uh, yeah, they did. I think they did. Uh, here's some buckets of water. Make sure they fill up the same amount. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm looking at here. How do I operate it? 
Don't know yet. Maybe I'll be wrong. I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. I'm hoping it's not just the exact same puzzle. We've already had Towers of Hanoi and Pipe Dream and a sliding tile. We were probably not dis uh, destined to meet in this time. The sun is already setting, the night is approaching, and I fear that the messenger could not deliver my letter. If you ever get to this place and observe carefully all the indices I left you with, I, you may be able to open the gate of time. The Oculi Tempus has only allowed us to look into the past, but in connection with its with this machine, it is possible to enter it. They tried to seize my device, but without success. Therefore, they will need yours to try to change the past in their favor. If you can open the gate, you can ha you have to act quickly, otherwise the substance might explode. I hope you'll be on the other side. Great, can't wait for when that goes wrong. I keep expecting to see a secret message left by Leonardo inside his things he sent me, but that keeps not happening. A wheel with handles. A laser beam. Oh yeah, that'll heat up whatever the hell that is. <laughs> oh, so it was empty. And you can spin it. For all the good that does you right now, with it, with it having nothing inside. That seems like it'll open. What a complicated little device. And this is one thing in the room. Do I need the right thing for that? Did I fall through that too? How much of the... How much of... Was, am I supposed to have fallen through? That's apparently where the explosion happened. So I fell through the weakened boards because of the explosion, probably, maybe. What do you do? Oh. Got myself another item, and now this is right above me? I guess I did that. But where do barrel screw go at place thing? Okay. What even are you? <laughs> you thought that me beating uh, Infra was the end of me just like pressing random buttons and seeing what they do, but boy were you wrong. Hi there. Another wheel. Okay, I know where that goes downstairs. Uh, am I taking- I took the whole box. Didn't really see that coming. It must go somewhere then, I guess. The bottom is flat. Got like a latch looking thing here. Not generally sure what to make of it. Here's a puzzle box. I think. Another castle shaped one, again. A fixed chest linked with a shaft to the mechanism of the invention. I might need to activate this by getting to whatever's below it. Each of these things has a puzzle below it, I think. You don't fit here, right? You you like the right size. Oh, it does fit. Even though it has a flat bottom, there was clearly like a notch there, but it had a flat bottom. Why did it fit? Now I can open the, the latch. Weird. Yeah, you can see it clearly goes through the bottom right there. But when I looked at the chest's bottom, it was just flat. It didn't have a slot for it to go into. Weird. You like a camera? Is this a camera? Or something similar? Is 
a lens. Da Vinci's perspectograph is missing an object to inspect. Is that the photograph? Does that is that how it photographs or something or what? Can I put the lens in here. Not sure. Huh. I'm gonna go check on the wheel. Because I know where the wheel goes. Not here. What? It lets me look at it. It's all it, it's destroyed. This is the ex this is what exploded. Oh right, this isn't the way down. Uh there it is. I was off by one chunk of the room. You're interesting. You clearly slide over at the moment I get something I can jam in there. No. I'm trying to make my way to three. Now I can rotate both of them for some reason. Woo! You can't do a full spin. You kind of have to do this over and over again. Okay. Now the question becomes a big old case of, what does that accomplish? Well, I've been stuck here before and this solved it. Oh. Oh. Both of them have a puzzle that relies on this. Okay. Oh. That's where you get your goop. So, it might be that almost every puzzle down here requires me to use this thing. I used it to get there, I used it for that. And I saw this glowing in the distance. So it's that usual thing where you have uh, different things that rotate and different parts of the puzzle cause different parts of it to rotate and you have to change it accordingly. So when it's just the right one, it's the middle two. What happens when it's... Yeah, you do, you do nothing. So when it's just the right one, it's the middle two here. When it's both, what's the, or when it's just on the, the left side, it's the second and fourth. Once in the middle, they should be linked, right? Yeah. Okay, none of them changed the top one. This just changes all three of them. Well, you're the middle two. There we go. Okay. Am I supposed to gather you up? 